What is Earth's capacity? You can give two explanations of that. One is the capacity to absorb humanity's waste, which is plastic carbon dioxide, because nature takes carbon dioxide in its oceans, in the soil and in the trees. Mostly actually goes in the oceans, but that's a natural system already which is in balance. It's the added carbon dioxide we're giving. We've got renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Or you can say some resources are continuously, some resources regrow in a few years, a few decades, a few centuries, millennia or never. So what are they? The sun is unlimited available on the planet. It's not at night, but it will come back every time, trust me. Wind is usually there, large or small. Water, there's a huge amount of salt water on this planet. For fresh water or fresh clean water, there are already a lot of shortages at certain times and certain places. Food can easily regrow, usually in a couple of weeks, right? Think about vegetables. Fish takes months or sometimes years to regrow. Trees, besides bamboo, which can be mature in months or sometimes years, trees takes five to 15 years, the pine trees and uh, more quality woods probably already take 50 years or even longer. And theoretically, oil regrows, except it takes millennia, and gas even longer. And then there are minerals on a planet that never regrow. We just have a certain amount of them. And typical stone, sand, silicium, this is in abundance. But gold, phosphor, helium, a lot of other materials, they're just in a certain amount, limited amount on our planet. The question is, how much do we need of what? And for the regrowing ones, do we give enough time to our planet to let them regrow? And do we provide enough resources to make them regrow? Is this balance still there? Ellen MacArthur talks about biomaterials and technical materials. Basically, biomaterials are here, the things that regrow. And technical materials, which is there, they basically don't regrow, but could be recycled. And Ellen McCarter also talks about renewables. Those are the things we have in abundance, and this is where we should take our energy from, for example. There's one more resource, that's people. Our knowledge and our time and our labor.